I am Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of Douglas County Board of Commissioners. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Clearly, our show on DCTV 23 that has the purpose of bringing information to you about county departments, programs, and people. Information is essential to being able to think clearly. Wow, I am so delighted that our guests have joined us today from Benton House and also from the Pilot Club. Before we start, I will allow you to introduce yourself, and I'll start with you, Pat. I'm Pat Garner. I'm long-term Douglasville resident and a member of the Pilot Club of Sweetwater. And I'm Patricia Watley, and I'm the current secretary for the Pilot Club of Sweetwater. I'm Hannah Turner, the community relations director at the Benton House. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. This is thank an you. awesome opportunity for me to connect with you. I just wanted to let you know that you made a difference on our last in our last meeting with regard to the Care and Kindness uh, Appreciation Week. And it, it touched my heart, and I wanted you to join me today and just tell us a little more about international care and kindness. Who want to take the question? Tell me the reason why you think that's important to celebrate or to recognize in the country. Mm -hmm. Ms. Watley? Well, care and kindness are two things that are overlooked so often that we felt like that it needed to be put forward and attention needed to be paid to it. Uh, the caregivers in our community, we think of them as people who are caring for uh, the ill sometimes, but we have caregivers that do all sorts of things. We have caregivers that work in the 911 office. Right. We have caregivers that work in the emergency room at Douglas Hospital. Uh, we have caregivers that are working in the homes, taking care of mm -hmm. relatives. Yes, we have mm -hmm. caregivers, professional caregivers. And these people are overlooked and people don't recognize them and they don't, they're not appreciated always. And, we felt like that uh, as an organization, we needed to recognize these people and let them know that we really care about them. That's very, very well said, uh, Ms. Watley. Uh, being that I was a caregiver for nine years of my 40 year career, the first year, uh, first nine years I was clinical and certainly was by the bedsides of the patients and also in surgery as well. So I know exactly what you mean to care mm -hmm. for someone and to give them that TLC, tender loving care, mm -hmm. particularly as they're anxious when they come into a hospital setting or a nursing home setting. Uh, you have to have that presence to calm the mm -hmm. patient or, uh, and to make them understand that uh, it's gonna be okay. So mm -hmm. thank you for just enlightening the cit citizens. Hannah, if you could, I know you have oversight for Benton Hus uh, Benton House, I'm sorry. That's okay. Can you just tell me a little bit about uh, how you infuse care and kindness in the, in the synergy in your organization? Absolutely. So I have been there for almost nine years now at the Benton House, mm -hmm. starting from the ground up, so personally caring for our seniors um, firsthand to all ADLs, which is Activities of Daily Living Care, to going through our memory care as director, and now into community relations. So as a community, we're a family, and giving and serving in the community is, is what we're about. We're more of a smaller setting for that purpose so we can have that one-on-one -on -one personal care to provide. Oh, wow, very good, that's amazing. Ms. Goddard? Well, I loved the idea when, when Pilot International came up with the initiative mm -hmm. for the International Care and Kindness and mm -hmm. gave us the opportunity as individual clubs to reach out to our community leadership and bring it to their attention. And I have to say, we, we have been not only well received by the county, but the, the appreciation that you all have shown and having a proclamation given yes. just meant the world. And it's encouraging to people. Our, our clubs themselves, many of us in them, are caregivers. Mm -hmm. I took care of my father for 17 years, 14 as his caregiver. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not unique in that way. And it was a, a, mm -hmm. a great privilege. And you learn a lot, you become a different person. I believe 
that was a great response. I believe uh, today I stopped by a week after we presented the Board of Commissioners presented the proclamation to the I stopped at the Ben House to just um, first of all celebrate your appreciation moment that you had for your caregivers. Can you tell me how often you do that? Is that an annual appreciation event or uh, Miss Motley? Or Yes. Like to take that? Uh, this year was the fourth year wow. that we did this. Uh, we each year recognized at least 12 caregivers each year. And these people came from all over the county. Uh, a few uh, came in even from Carroll County. <laughs> we snuck across the line okay. there and grabbed okay. a couple. <laughs> but we uh, uh, were honored to be able to do this for the four years at the Benton House. Uh, Benton House stepped up and said, uh, we will be more than happy to host you and have you come in. And uh, we have honored some of their employees uh, over, over the years too, because they have people that need recognizing there as well. And this has just been so wonderful. Heather's been a, a great, great influence in helping us to get this accomplished. Wow. So, uh, Hannah, how long has the Benton House been established in Douglasville? So they opened in 2010. Okay. And we have been serving as a company for about 20 years. Wow. Um, our locations are, of course, all over Georgia, Kansas, Missouri, uh, South Carolina and Florida. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I've been there almost as a little bit after it was opened. And it's, it's a great company to work for. The, the meaning behind it is just serving and being kind, being a resource for seniors and their families. Uh, how long, you, you said you've been open since 2010. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your capacity. Are you at full capacity now? Do you uh, have? We aren't quite full yet. We have a couple openings right now. Okay. Um, so we have 65 apartments. Of course, have assisted living in our specialized memory care, which is called our Beacon Neighborhood. Okay. Um, so right now we have 61 residents. You have a phenomenal staff. I had an opportunity to meet some of your caregivers. Thank you. Can you, you speak you. about some of their roles and some of the things that they do to provide services to our uh, seniors here in Douglas County? Absolutely. Um, I don't know if you're able to have any long conversations, but our gem a longevity is definitely there. Again, you know, just being there when building has opened, we've had several that have been there since day one. Wow. serving for our seniors. We have a resident that is still there that was there the day that the building had opened as well. So the staffing that we have is certified nursing assistants. Mm -hmm. um, we have LPNs and uh, directors as well as maintenance directors and food service directors. Um, so lots of licensed professionals for sure providing that one-on-one -on -one care with them. Okay, pretty large staff. How many members on your staff? So we probably have about 60 staff members right now. Of course, we have, you know, as needed staff. We provide companion care, which is one-on-one -on -one service. So that's another staff um, that is there for when a resident or senior needs one-on-one -on -one care, you know, rather than checking on them throughout the day and night, there's that one-on-one -on -one service if they need it. Wow, thank you so much, Hannah. Yes. I, I realize there's a strong relationship between the Pilot Club and the Benton House. Mm. Yes. If you could, Ms. Garner, could you tell me, first of all, explain to the citizens of Douglas County, what is the Pilot Club? Well, the Pilot Club came about in 1921, and it gets really exciting from there. <laughs> uh, women got the right to vote. Now, I'm not trying to be, but I'm just saying. So we, at that time, 40 businesswomen came together and they, their husbands primarily were involved in all of the civic groups, so they were very much involved in the community. Mm -hmm. But what they wanted was an opportunity to do some things their own way that they saw the needs for. So they got together with these organizations and they worked with these ladies and they formed Pilot International, which is named after the riverboat pilots, yes. which is true course ever. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. We opened up now, we, I mean, we're mm -hmm. <coughs> flexible. We opened up about six or seven years ago no. to bring the men in. Oh, to bring the men in, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> to, well, yeah, they were already there, I mean, you know, but yes. they were co-pilots. They were co-pilots. They, they were co -pilots. Right. Co -pilots. And they were scandalous because okay. they would have fundraisers that were absolutely <laughs> hilarious because they were guys and it was wonderful. But anyway, okay, so there's, how's that? 
That was amazing. <laughs> Great response. One thing you didn't mention oh, okay. <clears throat> is that the first uh, project yes, that yeah. Pilot oh, yeah. the Pilot International came up with uh -huh. was they purchased an ambulance for the Red Cross. They mm -hmm. raised enough money to do that. That was yeah. their first big project. And it was Tell them about the big <clears throat> one where we actually we funded mm -hmm. and rebuilt the hospital mm -hmm. that had been bombed by friendly fire mm -hmm. during World War II. Yes. So wow. really, really yes. involved yes. in a yes. deep way. Yes. And we've yes. always had a great sense for our veterans and we do have a lot of support there and we mm -hmm. that, that they are involved mm -hmm. in a lot of our projects. Well, thank you for the support for the, for the veterans being that I am one. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your service. How did you become involved in Benton House, Ms. Watley? We had a member of our pilot club that worked at the Benton House, mm -hmm. and she let she did a program for us at one of our program meetings mm -hmm. and told us all about the Benton House, and we just said. Oh, and this again was not too long after they opened, <laughs> and so we were sort of uh, amazed. Oh, this is wonderful! We have mm -hmm. this in Douglas County, yeah, and in Glove. Yes. And uh, she invited us to come in and uh, visit and participate in different activities that the public could come in, and we uh, we just took advantage of that and and got in there and. The next thing you know, we were invited to be able to do the luncheons there. When we said, "This is—is is it possible we could do that?" and we were told mm -hmm. we could, and and the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah, we didn't That's look right. back. Wow, it, it didn't it's look truly back. a blessing. Hmm? Miss Watley, I know we um, had conversations earlier about your uh, positions and the offices that you have held since you've been in the pilot club. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me? What are some of the duties of the officers in the pilot club, if you could explain some of those duties? Well, we actually have, within our pilot club of Sweetwater, uh, we have directors, and each director is responsible for a particular uh, area that we work in. For example, our projects. Uh, the person that's responsible for projects is in charge of setting up brain minder puppet shows wow. throughout the county <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and these are primarily for children uh -huh. uh, preschool early early elementary children and these pilot uh, these puppet shows are set up so that they teach the children about brain safety yes mm -hmm. And then we have ventured out and we've gone in, we've been doing puppet shows for <laughs> seniors. Yes. And teaching mm -hmm. them about brain safety. Yes. And you think, well, what would, you know, what would you teach a senior? The one thing, the first puppet show I heard for seniors, I said, oh my goodness, I never thought about, I need a table sitting next yes. to my front door. Mm -hmm. yes. So when I get there, I don't have to fumble. I can sit my things on the table, right. get the door open, pick my belongings up, and go mm -hmm. in. Wow. It's yeah. it's a safety issue. Curbs, uh, safety in parking lots, mm -hmm. safety just general safety for seniors. But that's that's one of them. Fundraising, of course, is another director's job, and that director is responsible for making sure that we have adequate funds being raised and we yes, we have little projects that we do and uh, then we have another director that's responsible for membership. We try to have a tea at least once a year and invite people in and tell them about us. Our vice president is responsible for programs wow. and getting the Ooh. programs in mm -hmm. so that our members learn more about our community and are better able to interact. But how many members do we have? In, in pilot we have in we County? have thirteen members right now, wow, that's and great. we've been able to have some e members, and these are members that a lot of them travel and work, and they call in and FaceTime in meetings when they're not able to. Technology. So we utilize yes. technology, mm -hmm. yes. uh, but then we get together at other times and do fundraisers and things that 
it's not necessary to be there for every meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, but this is a good way to to grow our membership. We have found. Well, wow. If I could, if you I can, can go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Right. Chime so, in. <laughs> yeah. Let me chime. Uh, the, the, the interesting thing about the organization, all right, uh -huh. they always pick on me, but anyway, the interesting thing is that the local clubs mirror the international organization, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the, the roles that are played mm -hmm. and the responsibilities because we're a democracy within yes. the organization and I think that's just very powerful and very fabulous right. and I would want to mention that. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking yeah. of membership and democracy, let's talk about what are the steps to charter a club here in Douglas County, Miss. Uh, well, you well, you, have to, you, you have to you have to have a, a core you know a core group, and since there's already a club here, we would just get bigger and fatter and better, <laughs> you know. But but for example, we are preparing now, and would love for anyone interested uh, to open a club, charter a club. We're going to sponsor it in Paulding County. Okay. So I'd just like to mention that we have a gal who's been very involved in her husband as well. Mm -hmm. And and he was so cute because, well, I shouldn't say that, he'd get mad. But anyway, he was really <laughs> cute. And he said, I miss going to pilot meetings. He said, you know, they're fun, they're interesting. You know, he was just in he was a good spokesman. Mm -hmm. So okay. So no, that's that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And how can someone join? Can well, joining is, is easy. We we meet once a month. Uh, we're published in in the uh, Chapel Hill News and Views, yes, I've and seen, they find seen. out uh, yes. that we we love Atlantic Seafood, so we're over there uh, <laughs> on the. We change from Thursdays to Tuesdays because Carrollton has their meeting on Thursdays, and it was just too much because we had a lot of crossover. So we have a lunch meeting, and we gather, you know, eleven fifteen or so, and we visit like crazy, and then we enjoy a lot of good food, and then we have our meeting, mm -hmm. right? So they can come to the meeting. Un unannounced, but there's contact numbers there, and uh, just give anyone a call. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hannah, I bet the uh, Pilot Club has certainly been an inspiration to the Benton House residents and also to you. So I know there are several ac activities held throughout the year. Do th tell me about the residents. Are they excited to uh, be engaged in these um, particular events? Absolutely they are. They look forward to them. We have three major events every month to um, a holiday uh, events for families to attend, to community service projects, to you know just giving back and having fun and enjoying and and just keeping them active and engaged. They love that. Also we um, had our Thanksgiving meal yesterday yeah. for families to attend and any guests especially families that don't have families of their own to have Thanksgiving with, we invite the community to attend that as well. Which leads to my next question yes. for you. So what are the plans uh, for y the residents and also for the staff yeah. for the entire holiday season? Can you expound on that if you could? Absolutely. So Monday is our uh, dessert and dash, and what that is is for our community, our families, our residents, where we just package up a whole bunch of pies, a variety of them, <laughs> and we invite the community and families to just come pick up a pie, come take a tour, or if you just need to pick it up and take it, you can do that as well, but that way you'll have it just in time for Thanksgiving. Okay. That is a, a great project mm. we do annually every year for Thanksgiving um, for our giving back. In December, we do our Benton Bear Tree, and kind of what that is, mm -hmm. is that we accept a different variety of bears that are donated and put into a tree. And then around the 15th, just in time for Christmas, we take them to a local uh, shelter. Right. Usually it's the Battered Women and Children sh Shelter in Douglas County. Okay. And our residents attend that too, and that just, they enjoy that, and just serving and giving back, and still being able to have that opportunity where we provide the transportation with our Benton bus. And you answered my question about the transportation, yes. so you have the Benton bus. Mm -hmm. We do, yes, we nice. do. Oh, and wow. they go on outings all throughout the week to community events, restaurants, mm -hmm. shopping sprees, the movies. That is probably the thing <laughs> they most look forward to every day <laughs> is going out. <laughs> well, let's talk about the Christmas tree. This is time, I know the tree, yeah. this tree have, has it already been uh, our festival assembled? of trees, yeah. the, our event, yeah. um, so we start decorating around the first. Okay. But our festival of trees event is annually as well throughout all of our Benton communities. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, ours is actually particularly on the 19th from 5 to 7, 
and so we'll light up all of our Christmas trees and some of those trees are donated through our community mm -hmm. vendors wow. and so That's they'll amazing. make a donation mm -hmm. they're able to decorate it however they like and that donation goes to the Alzheimer's Association yes mm -hmm. yes so and then Santa usually makes a visit there and we'll have mm -hmm. treats and entertainment and it's for community families and our seniors okay yes uh, these I call it call it center stage when I walked into the Benton house it's amazing first of all beautiful Thank you. Um, family room setting fireplace so will you light the fireplace this year of and course. I promise you I'll stop by again yes, to sit yes. by the fireplace <laughs> they wait for that to come on yes <laughs> especially when winter comes they are around yeah. the fireplace Miss Watley I, I know I've allowed you to breathe a little bit but I have a question for you <laughs> That's next. That's all right. <laughs> Can you tell us about Giving Tuesdays? What does that mean? Giving Tuesday is an opportunity for people all around the world to participate yes, and to give back to organizations that are service organizations that are helping people all over the world. Our giving day is going to be December the 3rd, okay. and uh, donations can be given through pilotinternational.org. Mm -hmm. uh, just hit the donate button. Uh, the funds will go to help educate and help people, and we have, uh, we have clubs in Japan. Wow. We have clubs in Europe. We have clubs in the Bahamas. We have, we have clubs all over the world. We are truly an mm -hmm. international organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we have funds that, uh, and we always help during hard times. When the Bahamas were hit and hurt, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we help our people that are there. Uh, but the funds are, do go to educate and to, uh, for caring for people, for giving, whatever, whatever the needs are throughout. Uh, we also have scholarship funds mm -hmm. that this money goes into and we are able to help young people, our anchors who are in clubs all over the world again. We have, we have uh, our newest mm -hmm. anchor clubs in, in South Africa. Yes, South Africa. And okay. uh, they are just fixing to come up with a, a compass club which is at the college level as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. and. This money just helps people in each individual community for whatever their needs might be. Uh, we, we just use it as, or international uses it as it is needed. But this is an opportunity for people to make a difference, again, with our organization as well as many others. But pilotinternational.org and press the donate button and we'll be will use your money wisely. Okay. How often do you host a, an international convention and so to allow all of y'all to come to the table at once from all over mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. to discuss just annually. some of the things annually. And so where is your next year, place? Yes. Well, it's in Atlantic City this June Okay. or July. I think it's the last week in June or first week in July. And the following year it will be in Georgia. Atlanta. It will be in Atlanta, Atlanta. to celebrate wow. our 100, 100. years oh, yeah. 100 of service, years. Uh, 2021. Yeah. Uh, and um, the people will have an opportunity to go to Macon and to our headquarters building. Which is beautiful. It's on wow. Preston Court there in Macon. It's, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful. beautiful building. We yeah. have gardens there and a memory garden where uh -huh. uh, and we have our original charters there, yeah. yes. beautiful library with memorabilia, yeah. but... Uh, and great vibes. Great vibes. I've got to plug that in because yeah. you walk it in the really library is. and it's just, wow, you, it's you, that kind it's of feeling. Just, it's yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah it's you can wow. feel those voices from mm -hmm. that 1921 mm -hmm. first convention when those ladies were clapping their hands and... A uh, renaissance oh. feeling. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes, okay. yes. It's wow. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, this has been just amazing just to, for you all to share what's going on at the Benton House and the Pilot Club. Just wanted to make it very clear that the Board of Commissioners are just delighted and humbled to have such great activity and organizations here in Douglas County, and we do not take what you do lightly. 
Uh, in fact, I appreciate uh, the care and kindness. We, that was, you know, I even, sometimes I'm known to be the quieter commissioner, but I had a lot of discussion that day because it mm -hmm. touched my heart personally, mm -hmm. uh, realizing what those caregivers do. They stand beside your bed and they not only just stand, mm -hmm. they pray for you and mm -hmm. they yeah. hold your Thank hand you. and they reassure yes. you and just say it will be okay. Right. And so that optimism allows, um, believe it or not, it's a healing process. So mm -hmm. thank you all for doing what you do. I have one last question for you, and it's an open-ended question, and it'll allow all of you all to be in, uh, respond accordingly. What, and I'll start with you, Mrs. Connor, <laughs> what was the most rewarding experience you've ever had in your life? Or you could just say with the Pilot Club. I'll stay specifically to your Pilot Club. Well, yeah, because that would be, that'd be <laughs> hard. Yeah. I don't want to cast such a well, wide net. Right. Well, uh, I love to take pictures. Oh, wow. And now this is going to be probably seems shallow, but I have to say. And I've got a good buddy of mine who is going to be here with us today. Oh. And I call her the silver haired wonder because she's 89 years old and she oh. is a total piece of work. Oh. Uh -huh. She is also my broker, but she is marvelous. Okay. And we get to travel together. And as such, we've been to Montreal, we've been to New Orleans, mm -hmm. we've been to Las Vegas, wow. Las Vegas, and then we've been to Las Vegas, and then we've been to <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> More than once. And, <laughs> and I've got some of the most fabulous pictures and photographs and yes. having friends and being a pilot is about yeah. friendship and service. That's right. And so for me, I couldn't pick out one event because they're all so valuable. They're so important. Well, thank you all each for your servant hearts. I heard the word service and I, that means that you are servant leaders and your heart goes along with it. Miss Watley, tell me what was, has been your most rewarding experience in the Pilot Club. The Pilot Club has uh, uh, another organization that we are tied to, and that's Georgia Artists with Disabilities. And I have been uh, given the opportunity three years in a row to present awards at their annual luncheon. The people that come up to receive these awards will take your breath. Oh. They, they, it, it's just so touching. touching. They are so filled with gratitude mm -hmm. for a sheet of paper that says first place, second place, Thanks. honorable mention, participation. Uh, it, it's so touching to see that that's another outlet that Pilot has gone into. And those people, it, it really will, it'll just, you can't hardly speak mm -hmm. because they're so, and they come up and they hug you and they say, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. And it, it's just a blessing to a be blessing. able to mm -hmm. be there with yeah. them and to see the beautiful work that they do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had the, art exhibited at the Cultural Arts Center yes. uh, about every other year for what, 10, 12 years? Long time. Oh, wow. uh, mm -hmm. And yeah. that's, that'll the be art coming is fabulous. up. fabulous. Okay. I think this mm -hmm. June, it'll, yeah. it'll be back again. And they're in wheelchairs and disabled in ways oh. you can't even imagine. Yeah. Wow. Mental, and, physical, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. just uh, all kinds of uh, disabilities. And, uh, you know, we you know, they're wonderful. You would think that these were, <laughs> Uh, Michelangelo's. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just beautiful work that they it's do. true. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Watley. Mrs. Watley, that was an amazing response. And last but not least, <laughs> Hannah, uh, what has been your most rewarding experience at Benton House? Uh, I know there's a lot of balls to juggle, yes. a lot of things going on. You have a staff mm. of 70 plus employees, uh, a lot of demands. Right. Uh, a lot of timelines. Can you talk about your most rewarding time? So it's pretty wide range too. It's rewarding really to come in every day, but my most rewarding would be a smile on their face. Yes. Most mm -hmm. of them live their journey day by day and every day is different. Everyone's journey is different. So being able to put a smile on their face, that is why I do what I do and why I have always done what I've done is working with seniors, for several years as a child, I served in the community along with my mother just giving back to seniors. 
and that is just where my heart is and just making that moment and day for them because you never know when it's their last if they're going to remember what what yesterday was or what tomorrow brings mm -hmm. yeah so Thank my rewarding is just seeing a smile on their face and living the moment well i'll be honest i love seniors as well now that i'm a senior i even <laughs> love them more. <laughs> but uh, seniors are amazing i, I are. as a child i I was always under my grandmother's wing, uh, just absorbing her wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. And, I just, and I've just always, I've been comfortable around right. seniors. And mm -hmm. today, for the uh, Douglas County Board of Commissioners uh, at the Atlanta Regional Commission, I serve on the Senior and Aging Board to represent <laughs> 13 counties here in Douglas and wow. in Georgia. So wow. uh, I'm very, uh, I'm an advocate. Mm -hmm. And I'm very sincere about supporting our seniors here in Douglas County and their needs. So this is very Thank important you. to me. And whatever we could do to make it better, mm -hmm. we have a new senior center that mm -hmm. uh, will be coming online very soon in Lithia mm -hmm. Springs. The Board of Commissioners just approved that this past Wonderful. week to move the, the project forward. So That's we great. are looking at just other things I have before the legislation to renovate, uh, to spruce up the senior center on Fairburn Road. Oh, it needs yes. a little love on it. Uh, it's been sitting mm -hmm. there a while. I love the history, but mm -hmm. I want to take it and mold it and, and make it, uh, bring it to the 21st century. That's but uh, seniors make a difference. Uh, I stand on the shoulders mm -hmm. of the seniors who have gone before me. Um, people say, you're not a senior. I say, I am. I'm a freshman senior, but I am a senior. <laughs> So with that being said, uh, I really, truly enjoyed you all today, and I appreciate you representing uh, the Pilot Club in Benton House and care and kindness here in Douglas County. Um, thank you so thank much you. for joining us today. Thank, thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us.